So, uh, yeah. Hey, and man, yeah, first like, of all, why I thought it was Shanane right here? Man, you talk. Oh, I thought that was <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg or something, man. Oh, okay. oh man. That, that, he needs some milk. That's bubbly yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, but we got to start first of all. We got to start with shit, name, name, man. We got to start with uh with, with Weezy. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, he's off the chain for that one. Yeah, this dude looking like we getting the Bernies though. Um, <laughs> the the dude put out a strap, man, on his bodyguard, man, for uh, leaking pics, man. Um, allegedly. Allegedly, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it, of course, the, the, the dude goes. First of all, you're a bodyguard. Wayne pull out a strap on you, and then you go to the security booth like it's allegedly what uh well, jay ken what you thinking man on, on this whole situation with, with wing man i mean again let, let let's start out with the allegedly so if this allegedly happened bruh th that's off the chain but i also wonder what's in this cat's contract to the the security guard Facts. Mm -hmm. he's got to have something in there saying you can't put anything out there that could harm the artist so I, I, you know, and maybe one of you two brothers can can school me on what the content of it was. I did hear about the incident, but not what type of photo or video or whatever was put out there. But it's 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 wild because again, I I, I don't know, you know, what this cat has in his contract, and I, I've never heard of Wayne doing something like this before, and he's he's had all kinds of security. <laughs> You know what I'm saying around here. Yeah, I mean, uh, BOP go in a little bit, man. What, what's your thoughts, man? Uh, I imagine that Lil Wayne is cool from a legal standpoint since the bodyguard decided not to press charges against Wayne in this scenario. Um, I can understand Wayne's frustration for feeling like, you know, one of his own bodyguards or really anyone in the circle, uh, again, allegedly attempt to put him in an exploitive space a or disposition absolutely. for monetary gain. Yeah, now, at the same absolutely. time, yeah. At the same time, I would hope that uh, I would hope that Wayne was actually in a situation like this, or if if he was in a situation like this, that he would uh, um, that he would not have a firearm in his residence or in his possession. Period. I mean, you know, the man served what eight months in Rikers Island, eleven years ago, on a weapons charge, yep. and then got mm. caught with a handgun. I think it was on his private jet last year. And then, you know, obviously yep. President Trump pardoned him from, you know, the legal right. ramifications that was about to hammer on him. Shout out to Trump, right. man. We miss you. Nope. Right. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that's not always going to be the case. You know, he's not always going to be saved like that, you know, or he's not always going to, uh, or rather it's, it's, it's too risky to believe that, you know, you can position yourself to, you know, get caught with a handgun, a, a, a a firearm at some point if that was the case so um again it's my hope that wayne's gonna go about things in a legal fashion here but what say you host my thing is like where's the dba at? you know what i'm saying where's that there kobe you contract you know what i'm saying that, that, like jk yeah. was saying like what's the kobe contract man. because at the end of the day dude I, I mean i got my chick signing dba you know what i'm saying so of course the bodyguards man come on all day long i can't yeah. tell nothing you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. that's that's rule number one Nah, you, you you know where the bodies are buried. You yeah, know, I mean, come on, man. Like, y'all the ones supposed to take the charge. <laughs> they supposed to be the one yeah. to take the charges. Absolutely. So, you know, uh, and like like I said, and then the other thing is, maybe they feel like they weren't getting paid enough. You know how these bodyguards are, man. You know, they feel like they're not getting paid, so they snap a couple pictures, send them to TMZ, right? That, that's what I'm saying, because we, we've never heard Wayne do anything nah. close, close to this. Something had to, again, I'm, I'm not taking sides here at all. Right, but I'm just saying something would have to provoke a man to pull out that type of strap. It wasn't just a regular strap he pulled out. Dude pulled out the rifle. Yeah, he Allegedly. pulled out that rifle. Allegedly, like, he, he was trying to blow T Rex's arm off. Oh shit! So this, oh, so, so this, this, this is more here, serious. Man. Yeah, this is more serious than what we really giving the credit for right now. I mean, I think it's kind of difficult to know who's going to end up. Um, well, no, actually, let me just say this again. I don't. I, I personally don't think that there's going to be anything legal here since the, the the bodyguard decided to not press charges. Um, you can prove nothing, right? So, I mean, I think it's a, you know, now you see me as a possibility or a possible situation that happened. Now you don't. So, um, 
I, I think at the same time, it's important to hire people of integrity and discipline. You know, if you know you're going to hire anybody on a you know security or even stat, just all around staff period, you know, to prevent them from you know, or at least lessen the likelihood of somebody just again just put trying to put you out there for you know some type of monetary gain with uh, tabloid or media whatever i mean i mean shout out for example to i know i think the nation of islam they do some bodyguard work at times and i'm not oh, saying absolutely. necessarily go directly that route but you know yeah, they do protect, operate from a high right. level of integrity so you know just or at least some type of security firm that has very little to no blotches on their record or record mm -hmm. and it's pretty trusted in their line of work so so basically you're saying this was a nig situation <laughs> this is a little homie oh, little cousin God. bodyguard Jesus. Uh, if it actually happened, then I it sounded like it was. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah, it sounded like little homie, little cuz, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody that he, some, homie somebody homie from around cool. the way. Yeah. yeah, around the way, cat. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Try, trying to put him on. Could have been. And those and those are the ones that that, that probably would disrespect you the most, or you would feel yeah. some type yeah, of way. Yeah, of course, about, man. Like, somebody... oh, do they pay me enough? And, you know, he's gonna yeah. be a big homie, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well. You know? We'll see what's going on, but like I said, Wayne got pardoned, so you know anything, man, that he does now, man, he going to slammer. So you know, yeah, nice. Sure. For you know, like, like I said, shout out to uh, Carcino, man. At the end of the day, man, like he said the same thing. Where, hey, man, you just want these cats, man, to like, you, you want Wayne just to go to the pasture, man. He's older, he's married now, like, you just want him to be cool. You know what I'm saying? You don't want him having no issues and whatnot. You know what I mean? Right, right. Nah. Shout out.